My name is Keith Shoemaker, and I live in the country of Burkina Faso. My main goal in being here is to start churches. But in living in this country and seeing the poverty, health problems, and lack of literacy, it isn't possible to close my eyes and my heart. Burkina ranks as the second hardest place in the world to live according to finances, education, health care, etc. In 2002, we arrived in Africa, and in December of 2004, we came to Burkina Faso. I met a great friend named Bado Nebilma. He presented me with an organization that he created uh, in order to help kids, and in English, we call it Give a Child a Chance. I mentioned this program to my mother, Marianne Shoemaker, and she said that she would like to help. She talked with a few of her friends and family members, and we helped in the 2005-2006 school year for the first time. School in Burkina Faso isn't free, so we help a lot with school costs, and many other children cannot afford simple school supplies like notebook, backpack, paper, and pencils, so we help with that. Just this year alone, we were able to help over 200 kids with their school supplies. One of the reasons why Bado Nabilma likes to help children that are in need is because he grew up in a village and he lacked many of these necessary things in order to go to school. God allowed him to leave the village many years ago and God has given him a good job. But just this year we were able to help make 40 desk school that's in his village. These desks will hold many times three to four kids. Some of these desks were in very bad shape. Also in Mali, we were able to help a pastor buy 20 benches to start a Christian school. My motto has been since we started helping, we can't help every kid in this country, but we can try. And in the process, we will help many. I have heard many different statistics, but most are comparable. The literacy rate of Burkina Faso is just a meager 21%. It is the most illiterate country in the world. For those uh, that get a chance to go to school, the average school life is only about five years. Only 54% of elementary kids are in school. Only about 10% will go to middle school or above. Much to my surprise, I read where in 1990, near 25% of the youth could write a simple sentence pertaining to everyday life, and in 2004, it has fallen to just 19%. Since helping with Give a Child a Chance, I have been burdened to create a Christian school and possibly many others in the future. We want to offer the very best education that a child can receive here. It will allow us to be able to help many kids. It is my goal to be able to give those who will pay a fair price and many others we will be able to give scholarships to that could not afford school. As I stated earlier, I am a pastor here. People are always surprised when I say this, but when one dollar comes in to help kids in need, one dollar is always used. I make no profit from this. I am already here, and I don't need any personal income. We just want to help these children to be able to have a chance. It is our goal to start a school for the 2009-2010 school year. We want to start small, so we will build a school building that has four classrooms and a small office. The estimated cost for this building is about $40,000. This would be a totally finished building, complete with paint, electricity, and everything. We would like to have electricity so that we can offer to many adults free literacy classes. The bare minimum that we need is about 28500 This would allow us to be able to start a school for the 2009-2010 school year. Thanks so much for your time, and may God richly bless you. If you are interested in helping, you can contact me at Keith at TheHarvest.net, K-E-I-T-H at TheHarvest, T-H-E-H-A-R-V-E-S-T dot net. My name is Bado Buma. I am the mayor of this area. This day is a great joy for us to be here. It's a great joy for all of those who I lead in all of this region. This event is a very joyous event. Our community is a community that doesn't have much means. And thanks to our friends, we have received many school benches and school supplies and this helps students and parents. I would like to thank in my name, in the name of the community, in all of the 18 villages that make up this area, I want to say thanks from the bottom of our hearts to our friends, the Shoemaker family that is in the USA, and to their friends 
to Keith Alan Shoemaker, who is here with us, to Bado Nubilma. I believe that this is a great help in getting rid of much ignorance because we know that development comes from education. I want to give a challenge to our friends. What already has been given is huge. The impact is too great to estimate. But we ask that you can continue this great work. We don't have great means here, but please continue to give what you can. I would like to say thanks again from all of this community. Thank you very much. My name is Pascal. I am a student at the school in Kulkuldi. I thank you very much for all the school supplies that you gave. Please continue to help us so that we may advance at school and reach a good level at life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Je m'appelle Baela Monique. Je fais la cinquième. Je vous remercie beaucoup. De tout ce que vous nous avez offert. My name is Bayala Monique. I am in the seventh grade. I want to thank you very much for all that you have offered to us. I thank you for the school supplies, the benches, and I ask God that for next year you will be, you will be able to continue to help us again with all of our school supplies. Our little brothers who are at elementary school, they need your help. I thank you again for all that you have done. May God continue to help us and keep us until next year. Que le Seigneur nous bénisse et nous garde pour l'année prochaine. Thank you.